Before connecting any connector to the controller, first unplug the controller, then connect the connector, and plug the controller back in. Hi, I'm KB3WFV. My name is Brian, and this is a resonant test of the Step IR Urban Beam. Once the Urban Beam is completely assembled, you want to take a few moments while it's on the ground still to perform a resonance test. To do this using the optimizer controller, you need to first press the arrow on the far right hand side to get to six meters. Press six meters. The motors will deploy the elements. Once the elements are deployed, you want to use an antenna analyzer to match the frequency that's displayed on the controller. Once the frequency is matched on the controller on the analyzer, turn the frequency down on the analyzer to locate the lowest SWR. Once you've found the lowest SWR, and all you're looking for is a dip, it's not going to be a perfect SWR, remember the antenna's on the ground, usually the lowest SWR will be below the band edge. Now you want to simply push the next band button, which would be 10 meters. The motors will deploy the element lengths out to match 10 meters. And the SWR is changed. Do not touch the meter, do not touch the controller frequencies. Now return to six meters. The motors retract back to six meters. And all you're looking for is the SWR to return to the original reading. Hit retract on the controller. The elements retract. Hit six meters again. Again on the optimizer, you have to first hit the arrow button over and then press six meters. The elements deploy. and return to more or less the same SWR reading that you took in your first reading. You find the dip or resonance on the frequency, go to a different band, return to the original band, retract from the original band, and return to the original band. And the SWR should match the same on all three tests. Do this for each band, and this will ensure correctly that your Step IR Urban Beam is working correctly. When done with all your testing, be sure to hit the retract button to store the elements in the EHUs before installation of the antenna on the tower. When you're done testing the elements, don't forget to unplug the power supply from the controller.